Hello everybody, this is Halloween Haunts here, and welcome back to another Graveyard Review. And welcome back to another Graveyard Review. Um, in this Graveyard Review, we're doing another Spirit Prop, well, um, that I am reviewing. Um, so yeah, so I went to Spirit Halloween again and picked up another prop. And I'm playing with me another prop. Um, and this is your first prop you got from Spirit? No, because I got the Boogeyman the first time I went. A review, a review on him should be coming soon. But anyways, I um, today, I went to Spirit today, and I saw everything. It was really cool. But I just really wanted the um, Roman Ghost Boy, although he was never set up in my store because you know they probably didn't. I don't know why. Um, Roman Ghost Boy is actually supposed to be the one that roams around the store. Um, but he's in select stores because you know he we have there are so many roaming props that they decided. I, I, I really had the doll in select stores and him because she's a returner. But yeah, but not talking about that. We're going to talk about the Roman Ghost Boy. So I paid about $70 for this, but with the coupon it was about 56 bucks. Pretty good. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like their roaming props. But they didn't, they didn't like this one because they thought the voice is too cheesy or something or the hands. Um, the only really cheesiness I can kind of see is like uh, the base. You can kind of see the base with the cloth. I like how they made it brown. No, 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 not brown. I mean white. I'm like, you're my dog. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, let's show you the box over here. So, this is the box. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it in a different area because, of course, the floor, you need the floor because you need to roam around. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's look at the box. So, it says, Roaming Ghost Boy. Sound activated. Bump and go. Light up eyes with sound. Light up pumpkin, roaming ghost boy. It's actually my favorite roaming prop because it has four phrases, and this is not actual seasonal visions that make the other ones. It's actually uh, I can't say it, crazy creative lid corporation. You know, you know that, that new company where the company we we just found out about. They made like floating ghost girl and stuff. They actually made this one because um, first of all, um, Jaden from the end videos can contact the. Uh, Seed of Vision, basically, uh, Mike, the guy who voices the corn soccer and stuff, they, he actually contacts him, and uh, he asks about the Roman Ghost Boy, he's actually not Seed of Vision, so, and I think he is crazy creative because his base is not black like the other Seed of Vision props, and he has the same, um, he has sort of the same uh, voice in the background as Floating Ghost Girl, and that can kind of make sense because it's just Ghost Boy and she's Ghost Girl, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna flip the box around so you can see it. it. Says on the box, just roaming. Can't see that. Uh, it just says roaming ghost boy. Uh, on the back, uh, let me get my phone out. On the back, it says roaming ghost boy from Spirit Halloween. Sound activated, bumping, going, you know, same thing. Caution, you know, about the batteries, you know. It says four double A batteries required. Um, to, you know, of course, you need to activate like that. And it says it's not included. Well, it actually is included. Um, yeah, it says that right there. Um, it actually is included because when you uh, open the pack, there's actually a pack of batteries in there, so I don't know why it says that. Um, and then the reason why this box is smaller than the other roaming prop is because, um, it actually, um, sure about that, that's the thing. But the reason why it's not as, you know, complex and bigger box as the other ones is because the other ones have, you know, you know, like, this is just cloth over a pole. The others have, you know, like a real body. And, uh, you can just basically take the, um, pull out and put the cloth up there. With the big ones, you can't really take it apart and put the cloth up there, because that's not, that's not how those ones work. Because you actually have, um, real clothes and, like, a real body. Um, that's like this, this one's not cheap, though. Um, this one's actually better, because this one has cool little eyes. 
the pumpkin lights up. And uh, here's the bottom of it. It's, got, it's supposed to have a demo mode, but they took it off. I don't know. They're supposed to be on the demo, see? And if you open that little tab, it says demo. I'll do it now. Can't see it, but it says demo on it. See that? But then they said I'm do the demo, so. There's the batteries. Um, here's the little thing. Cool. So this is an, a crazy creative item. Um, there's something really under the cloth. I mean, I don't. I think this is like a boy under a cloth, like a boy on a suit. Um, but because you know his hands. But I think he's meant to be a tree ghost. I'm not really too sure about him, but he's just a cool prop. Um, he is just like the others. Bump and go, turns around. Um, the only complaint I really have is that it doesn't really cover the whole base, but you know it's just white, so it won't be, so it won't be a little bit more detailed. And the wheels at the bottom are actually too squeaky. Like when they move around, it kind of squeaks a lot. Um, that's not really a big problem for me. Like I still like this a lot. I, don't know, I think it's supposed to be forward. I'm not sure. Is it supposed to be uh, tilted this way, maybe. Maybe it is. I just tilted it. Um, at first, when I put him up, he was doing going backwards, so I pushed the body around. But this guy's really, uh, the others you don't really need to stand up, but this guy you kind of need to. But he's really complaining to me. And the prototype actually has like a black base wing, so maybe he's in the legend. Originally, he's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, I really like the Ghost Boy, and I think I'm going to give him a total of a 4.5 out of 5. Um, he is definitely worth the price. I know he's not too. He's about, um, I, I don't know if he's taller than the others. He might be the same size or just a little bit shorter. But this guy is really cool. And you're not going to regret it because he's just a really cool prop. And the pumpkin's really, you know, thick, plastic, really good. His hands are really cool. This prop is just really cool. And I can't wait to use it in my haunted house. Um, and I hope to get the other ones, such as the uh, original roaming doll. Uh, I want to get all of them. Um, but not, you know, this year. Um, and the other woman props, I like them, but I didn't really, like, this one's easier, I like them, but I didn't really care for them that much as this one, because I thought this one was just the best. So yeah, and this guy has four phrases in the video, these are only sort of like two phrases, but I'm going to show you all the phrases right now. So, let's just, uh, open this up, um, and get that starting, so watch this.